this one looks really sweet. It helps to stimulate your clitoris and this area is quite big compared to the womanizer which you may heard of. It's a really nice material and really nice shape. While this can bring really intense pleasure, I would also like to say that it's better not to use it too much because if you use it too often and too strongly you may actually have less sensitivity in your clitoris. Therefore it's great to use it as a spark and then use your breath and use your movement to bring this strong energy to the rest of your body. This is the classics. It's beautiful, it's great shape, it's glass. So you can clean it easily using hot water and some soap. And it's also great to bring more sensitivity to your vagina. It doesn't vibrate, of course, but you can use it to create pressure to different parts of your vagina. And many women, they actually are less sensitive in their vaginal tissue than they could be. You can help your sensitivity, you can increase your sensitivity. You can use this to push in different corners and different parts of your vagina, which helps to bring more blood in your tissue and actually helps you to experience more pleasure at the end. This is another classics and this one does vibrate. Every vagina is different. It has different depth and different width and also there are different types of orgasm in different women. We should explore which type we are and also we should then use the right size of our erotic tools. This one is really nice, isn't it? You can easily put it anywhere in your apartment and nobody will know what it is for. It's a really strong vibrator, as you can see here. And while it's kind of small, it has a lot of power. You can see that this vibrator is multifunctional. It has stimulation for your vagina, for your clitoris and also for your anus. I will say more about this in a while. It's uh, vibrating and you can choose how strongly you wish it to vibrate. And while you can probably imagine how you can stimulate this part of your body, I would like to say a few words about anal stimulation, not just about vibrators, but also anal sex in general. So many people are trying anal sex because it's kind of in and many men wish to try and I know that many women actually try as well without really wanting and sometimes they experience a lot of pain while having this experience and so I would like to warn <laughs> and not I am not telling you not to have anal sex or anal stimulation but you should really take it slowly. You need a lot of lubrication. We can experience a lot of anal pleasure, but you should never ever agree to have anal sex if you don't want to. I'm also saying it because on the market you can get gels which help to make your anus not sensitive. Why would you like to have sex which should be painful without using this thing? Never ever do anything in intimacy, in sexuality that is painful. There is a great choice on the market and you may want to explore which fits your needs best. You can also communicate with your partner and probably he will be very happy to give you a, a nice gift. <laughs>